13 weird and unique slimes from one of the most viral slime shops there is on the internet. Let's review. And yes, I'm talking about Peachy Beats. And Peachy Bees has over 1.1 million followers and they make the most awesome slime content. I am by no means an expert when it comes to slime, but I can appreciate texture and smell. And since so many of us really love fidgeting and we have ADHD or autism, or we just like to fidget, which is totally cool with that too. I figured I'd get their most recent restock and most popular sold items. And this is going to be my first time checking out their slime because no actual excuse, I just never did and I finally got the courage to pick them up so that I can review them with you and see if they actually feel and smell like the descriptions from the website. If you've had any experience with this shop, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will turn you into a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Don't worry about this just sharp pointy thing, it's our friend. Look at it. It's cute. It's got a face. It's gotta be cute. <laughs> I have to say, so far my experience with the shop was absolutely phenomenal. I placed the order, things got shipped, things arrived. The only issue was with my own postal service, which sent me the box that looked like this. Thank you, Canada Post. 10 on 10 service. Please note this is sarcasm. Now, as you can see on the desk, we do have 14 different slimes, textures, and scents. And we also got a bag of freebies, so we'll check that out too. And I think one of the things I really want to start off with is the best seller bundle, just because since I'm not familiar with this slime or the scent or even the seller, it's kind of cool to see what people love the most from their shop. And let's be honest here, these slimes are definitely premium coming in at $65. The only thing I wished I would have had in this box is this cute box that would have had these boxes in just because I like packaging. I am a sucker for packaging. <laughs> And we can see here that the popular items include Lavender Cow, De-Stress Dough, Baby Axolotl, Ocean Buddies, and Liquid Fireworks. I really love the sound of that one. And I'm not a fan of lavender, so let's see how I feel about this one specifically. And since I am a sucker for cuteness, despite the fact that I love Creatures of Darkness, I do like cute things, let's just put it out there. It's okay to like both. I wanna start off with Baby Axolotl. The packaging is really cute, very custom. And we do have a few extras. So let's take a quick look at the extras because I believe I was supposed to get a larger squishy, but I didn't get any of those. But we did get two stickers. The Slime Club Riss 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 Burn by Peachy Beast. I hope I'm saying the name wrong. Uh, right. <laughs> I hope I'm saying it wrong. I want to trigger as many people as possible. <laughs> I hope I'm saying the name right. Wow. And we have a tiny mochi. I think for this one, we were supposed to get a larger one just because of the amount of slimes that we ordered, but that's okay. And a cute little thank you card that says how to take care of all the slimes. So if we need to, we'll definitely look at that. And we do have the sticky fix spray. Do not eat. Why does it smell good? It smells like nothing. So I don't think I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat. I, I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> All right, so here's baby axolotl. Let's see what you look like on the inside. And, okay, we have these sprinkles on top. And it's a little hard to see, so let me bring the exposure slightly lower. My goodness, this smells so good. Oh. This is really good. Let's check out what it's supposed to smell like. And according to the website, it's supposed to be a cucumber melon. Holy shrimp, it really does smell like cucumber melon. For some reason, it reminds me of hubba bubba bubble gum. It is absolutely, I can see why it says do not eat. But over here, we have our baby axolotl. Let's take you out. Okay, let's touch it first. Oh. Oh, that sounds really good. That is so crunchy. This is really good. Oh my goodness. The crunch on this is absolutely a 10 on 10. It's super crunchy, smells really good. Here is our baby axolotl. Let's get a little close up on this cute baby. Listen to that. I don't know if the others can top this one. This is phenomenal. So far I can see why this is one of the best sellers. I'll put you back in here. Definitely a very big favorite. If you do want to see me play a little bit more with these, I do have behind the scenes for patrons and YouTube members. So if you are part of the members, you will see me play with them extensively. But for now, I'm going to rate this a solid 10 on 10. This is really good for me. These are all my opinions. I'm very sensitive. Next we have De-Stress Dough. 
And for this one, it says that it's a soft and spreadable butter slime. So it's easy to make and inflating bubbles. I don't know how to do that. So I don't know if I can try, but I will do my best. And the scent is calming lavender vanilla. And here's what the packaging looks like. I love the little brain looking like it's meditating. Very cute. And it says butter slime to help you calm down and relax. And we have little charms. Let's check them out. And we have tiny clouds. And what are the circles? I think the circles are just circles. Let's take them out. Okay, let's get a closer look on these. We have the little cloud and this looks to be a bunny. Yes. And let's see this vanilla scent that has lavender tones to it. Oh my goodness. I'm worried this might be sticky, but if it is sticky, then we can actually just do the spray. Oh, that is really lavender. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite scent just because lavender. Let's take a closer whiff. And yeah, it has a very flowery scent to it. Very, very lavender-esque. So if you love the smell of lavender, you're going to enjoy this because it's very, very potent and it smells kind of like a warm blanket. So let's go ahead and touch it. Oh, it's not sticky. That is very soft. It almost feels like air dry clay, which it probably is made out of air dry clay. And this is what it sounds like. Very buttery. You can barely hear anything. So I'm curious, how does one make slime bubbles? Is this the right texture? Is this the right technique? <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified for this. So we're gonna just spread this here and we're gonna put some of the embeds. This is really cute. Here's what they look like. And maybe this is going to give us a different crunch or texture. Very nice. And let's put it in. Oh, listen to that. Okay, we don't hear it anymore. But there was a little bit of a crunch. Hopefully you all heard it. And now we get tiny bits of texture all over it. Cute. I like that. I like the variation of texture in this. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> Are you triggered? I'm sorry. In you go. You know what? This smell is kind of growing on me. And here's what it looks like. So I think for me, the de-stressed dough, because it's lavender and the texture is kind of more or less like clay, I'm gonna give it more or less a seven on 10. It is good quality, just not for me. Next, we have Ocean Buddies. And it looks like we have some embeds here at the bottom. And the pictures are pretty cute. I do see, I think an octopus and some kind of other ocean creature and little embeds of sharks. And again, it does look like a bit of a wave, cute. And this one is supposed to be a jelly slime. It says soft, inflates a ton and makes great bubble pops and ASMR. So we're gonna try at some point to make those bubbles. And the scent is supposed to be sweet fruity, okay. My hand still smells like lavender. Hang on, I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> I wash my hands, but it still smells more like lavender than the soap that I actually used. But let's get a closer look. Oh my goodness, I think all the embeds went at the bottom. Oh, that looks like a whale. Okay, let's feel that jelly. Does it feel, oh my goodness. The smell is kind of like a laundry detergent fruitiness, if that makes sense which I don't mind, I do like the smell of soap. You know what? You know those soaps from a long time ago? I think they were really popular in the 90s. They were shampoos. L'Oreal Kids, there you go. I used to love the watermelon version. This one's this like tropicalness to it. But okay, let's go ahead and touch this. Oh, oh, that is sticky. Uh-oh, is that, oh wow, that looks like water. Definitely looks like water. It's quite sticky. It does feel like putting your finger in a pot of jello. Let's pull this out and see the embeds that are in there. It's very, very sticky. Oh gosh, very sticky. <laughs> Help! I think this is the perfect time to use this thing. And it says the best way to take care of that is to do one spray at a time. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if I need to mix it, but I gonna mix it. Oops. It's kind of all over my fingers right now, so that might actually help at this point. And we're gonna do one spray. Where's the hole? There it is. Don't take me out of context. Do not take me out of context. There we go. One spray and we go mix it. Voila. That's already much better. And let's find the embeds. Over here, we have a cute narwhal. Let's take you out a bit more. Why am I struggling? <laughs> Why am I struggling? I'm trying to get it out of the slime, but it's like super covered. So here is our narwhal out of the slime. And we have something else in here, which kind of looks like an octopus with a shell on its head. Cute. Oh, and we have little clownfish embeds, little whale or maybe a shark. And the slime itself, again, does feel like a jelly in between your fingers. It's like soft jello to a certain extent. I don't know if y'all remember that trend where you can make edible slime. It's basically that texture. Oh, it does make nice pop sounds. There you go. That sounds nice. Yes. Aha. 
We're getting tiny pops here and there. I'm no expert, but this is sounding really good. They're like micro bubbles. And we went from a really clear color to a nice sea foam type color here. And I'm pretty sure once it settles, it's going to go back to clear. So you'll see it here now, once I've let it sit for about a day. So for me, I do like the smell of it. I do like the texture, but still not as much as the axolotl. So I'm going to give this one a solid 8.2. So it's good, just still not for me. Now we have Lavender Cow. I absolutely love the variation of the colors over here. And in the shop, it looks like we get a cow embed, but also little lavender plants and some clouds and some sprinkles, I guess. It looks pretty cute, but again, my worry, as usual, is that it is indeed lavender. Obviously, the scent is going to be the same, so I'm really curious that there are two bestseller lavenders that would come in this kit. Would have loved to see something a little bit more different, because now we have two of the same scents. And this is supposed to be a cloud dough, dense and drizzly. And you're supposed to play with it with quick motions, so I guess it might be on the stickier side. So let's see what it looks like. And it is, oh my goodness, that is aesthetically pleasing. We have our tiny cow over here. Let's pull you out. <laughs> oh, cow! Oh, little cow, how I do miss you. You have left us way too quickly. And we have retrieved our cow. This is what it looks like. Let's take a whiff. Interesting. The smell of the lavender on this one is not as strong as the de-stress dough one. Interesting. I wonder why. So this is a lot more mild. We can see the sprinkles. We have the little lavender embed. Let's pull you out. It looks like this. So it's a plastic piece of spikiness. So it is not a piece of clay. And let's feel that or hear that. Okay. This one still feels like air dry clay, interestingly enough. Look at that nice pull. You can see the cloudiness of it. Oh, it's kind of like kinetic sand, like wet kinetic sand. Look at this beautiful pull here. It has like this cloth like texture when you pull it. So it's very, very dreamlike and you get some really nice pulls. It just feels like you're holding cotton in your hand. Look at that. Very pretty. And I don't know how the embed's going to feel. So let's go ahead and push it in and let's put our cow in. It doesn't make any sound but it just feels like wet, cloudy, kinetic scent. I kind of like this, very soft. And the scent on this, again, is not that invasive. I do like this embed though. I do like that lavender embed because it doesn't stay stuck inside, so it's easy to retrieve. It just feels nice. Because the scent is not that strong, it still is lavender. I'm going to give it the same rating as the previous one. This next one from the bestsellers is called Liquid Fireworks. I can't seem to find any information about it on the website itself, so my guess is that it's probably sold out. But look at that. It has all these tiny beads on the inside with black slime. It really does look like fireworks. I love fireworks, but I'm curious what the scent is. So let's open it up. Oh, goodness. Here's what it looks like. Very, very colorful. I'm loving this. And the scent is, oh, it smells like a man. <laughs> is it me? It has like this perfumey cologne smell to it. it. Smells very classy and like I'm on a date. Like legit, it smells like going on a date and everyone's putting up their best clothing on. <laughs> if you like that smell, not, not the unhygienic kind, the nice kind. <laughs> and here's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and hear that sound. It should be crunchy from what it looks like. Oh. Absolutely phenomenal. I love this. It really does remind me of the axolotl. Let's pull the whole thing out. And the color shift on these little beads is really nice. You can see it goes from like blue to green. It really does smell like cologne though. I don't know if that's what it was supposed to smell like. Let's go ahead and squish. That is a nice stretch. I really do want to play with this. Texturally speaking, I did tell my brother he could take some of these, but I think I'm going to save this for myself. But the stretch and then the sound. Oh my goodness, again. And let's put it back on and squeeze. Yes. Oh my goodness. I think I have a type and the type is crunchy. <laughs> let's bring it closer and you can see those beads and the colors and where it gets the fireworks name from. Absolutely great. 10 on 10 for me. Although I'm gonna dock away a half point because of the scent. It reminds me of people. I don't know if I wanna smell people as I'm playing with slime. This is, this is great though, this is really good. Now we're getting on to my own selections of slime. 
And here we have strawberry jelly roll. And this looks like a really fun texture adventure because it has two different kinds of slime. And it just looks cute. You can see the sprinkles and the strawberries on there. And it says that it has both cloud dough and jelly swirl. And the scent is supposed to be a strawberry jelly roll. And we can see the colors here of the swirl, which kind of looks pretty cute. There's definitely more swirl than jelly. So let's see what it looks like opening you up. My goodness, that is that is definitely very colorful and pretty. Oh my goodness. That smell, as soon as I open the cap, it smells of strawberry jam. That is phenomenal. I'm kind of salivating here. Very cute contrast of colors. Loving this choice that putting the cream on top and all the strawberries on it. So let's go ahead and touch the top. This is definitely very cloudy and clay-like, so you can see the texture. Very much so like kinetic sand. And let's get to the jelly. Let's pull you out so we can feel it better. That smells phenomenal. So here we have the jelly texture. I don't feel the difference in the texture so much, just because I feel like we definitely have way more of the roll versus the jelly. But it is a nice texture, and it smells really great. Let's see if there's any kind of sound. No. Definitely still very cloudy-esque. So let's see over here. See, here I can feel a little bit more of the jelly, but it's very, very minimal and it doesn't go very far. So my guess is that if we had too much jelly, it's probably going to ruin the texture somehow. I'm not very familiar with slime, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. But here's what it looks like. Definitely feels like cake, like cake batter. And if we just stretch it a little more, we can start seeing that cloudiness Again, I'm loving this cloudiness. Very, very cute. But yeah, nothing special about the texture itself. It just feels, again, like slimy kinetic sand. The scent is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to give this an eight on 10. I've had bad experiences in the past with different kinds of slimes. This isn't one of them. I'm actually enjoying this and I don't have to make a just, look at this swirl. Yeah, a solid eight on 10. This is really good. This next one is aesthetically absolutely gorgeous. A honey cube squish jelly slime. It just looks like it's oozing full of fun textures to play with. That's basically what I'm here for. I am here for the textures. And it says that it is a clear slime base with squishy sponges and apparently great for ASMR. And the scent is supposed to also be a light honey scent. And on first inspection here, we can see that there are different embeds on the inside. And I'm really curious to see those sponges. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful color. Let's see if we can smell that honey scent. Now, normally honey is one of those rare scents that kind of just tickles the back of my throat, kind of in an overly sweet way. Let me know if you have a scent for you that actually tickles the inside of your throat. That's just me. Okay, let's take a sniff. Okay, it's very, very mild. The first thing I do smell though is mostly a soapy smell, less so a honey smell. Some of you might like it, I don't mind it. And here's what it looks like. Let's see those cubes, oh my goodness. Let's pull that cube up. This is what I was looking at. This is a sponge, very nice, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that sound. Okay, let's pull this whole thing out. The first thing that pops out is the amount of gold glitter that is in there. It is absolutely beautifully golden sheen. And here's what it looks like before we start mixing it up because it's probably gonna get very cloudy. Let's see the embeds. We have honeycombs over here, little stars, little speckles, and we have our tiny bee. Oh my goodness, look at this honeycomb piece over here. This is a gigantic piece. Here's what it looks like. And there are just so many textures in here. And it feels almost like a piece of fruit. It's not squishy, but it is gummy-esque. So it's not a sponge per se. Let's hear that. Oh, that does sound good. I'm gonna make a little cup here with a little air pocket. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, this is definitely ASMR-esque. I'm sure many of you could do a better job than I am of getting bubbles. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that, there's a bear. Oh my goodness, I hadn't seen this bear. This is cute. I love the textures, I love the color, I love the sound. Look at that stretch. This is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous slime. Look at that, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I am loving this. I really wish the smell was a little more honey-esque, but it is a sweet, mild, soapy type scent to me. Yeah, definitely beautiful. I love this way more than the lavenders. The texture is pretty. It's not sticky. It's just right. Everything about the slime 
I love the sounds, is going to be on my top list. I'm going to give this, despite the fact that there's no scent, well, very mild scent, I'm going to give this a solid nine for me. Beautiful, love all the textures. This next one has an absolutely adorable name called Floof Cake. And even just looking at the website, it is absolutely adorable. I love the colors and the swirls and the decorations. It just looks aesthetic. And it looks like it's going to be one of those slimes that also does a little bit of that stretchy feel to it. It says it is again a cloud dough slime. And the scent is a pastel punch. So I'm guessing fruitiness. And we do see a division of the colors. So I'm guessing that cute swirliness is something that we have to do. So let's see what we have. Oh my goodness, that is cute. Let's take a sniff. Oh yeah, definitely smells like a lunchbox juice. <laughs> That's, it just smells like a juice. You know when you were a little grain and you went to school and you got a juice packed if you were one of them lucky kids, we didn't get juice packed. But sometimes I would smell the other kids' juices <laughs> and it smells like this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Definitely smells edible, despite the fact that you shouldn't be eating it. And here's what the embeds look like. What is this one? Is this a cloud? Yeah, it's a cabochon cloud. Here it looks like we have maybe like a candy and we have sprinkles. So let's pull this out. It definitely feels like a cloud slime. And here's a close up. Again, none of these slimes are sticky, except for that one where I only had to do one spray. Otherwise, let's go ahead and hear this. Yeah, very quiet. Let's see if we can get a nice swirl. Beautiful, it smells so good though. Look at that. We're gonna get a little closer. Look at that, the floofiness is right there. Oh my God, no, 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 no. If you wanna see that floofiness even closer, let's go ahead and stretch it right in front of the camera. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like juice. And the colors here now make it look like ice cream. I love this. Not much to say other than it is floofy. It's very soft. It smells really good. The embeds don't really pop out that much. So if you're looking for something texturally speaking, like the honey, this is not it, but this one definitely smells good. It's gonna get at some point all mixed. So if you don't wanna mix it just yet, you have to play with it very, what's the word? Conservatively. <laughs> Now I want juice, this, is, this smells really good. So with not much else to say on this, other than the fact that it smells really fruity, it's cloud-like, I'm gonna give it a solid 7.8. But because it smells really good, let's, let's bump it up to eight. It smells really good. And if you're new here, for me, a really good rating is actually seven. Everything above a seven is phenomenal. And anything below a five is do not buy. Just saying, I'm a harsh critic. So far I'm loving these and I would 100% order again. So let's keep going. This next one, I feel like I'm going to absolutely adore it. It's called Froggy Cubes, and I can already see quite a bit of texture in there. And on the website, again, we can see a cute frog embed, em embed, embed, embed. Wow, an embed. I can see where it's. <laughs> and probably the same type of jelly texture or fruity texture cubes, but it does look pretty cute. So I'm excited to try this one out. And it says that it is a clear slime with squishy sponge jelly cubes. And the scent is gummy frog candies. Oh, that's gotta be great. So you can see the slime is actually pretty clear. Our frog is at the bottom. So let's see what we get and if it smells like gummy frog and the answer is, Hmm, I feel like Peachy Bees is probably obviously using the same base that has a really nice scent to it. It smells really clean. It really smells like shampoo when I was a little grain. And I can't smell too much of the gummy frogs. I'd like to get a little bit more of that gummy scent in there. But again, many of you grains do like mild things. I like things that little punch me in the face, a little hard. Here's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and touch that jelly cube, which I absolutely adore. Yeah, this, I don't know what this jump jelly gummy thing is. I don't know what it is. But here's a close-up of it, and it's really not that soft, but it feels like you it's something you want to bite into, kind of like um like boba. For those of you who had boba, like the tapioca, that's what it feels like. But let's pull the whole thing out, and you can see how beautifully clear this is. Right before I start messing with it, it is very clear. I mean really clear. Here's the embeds we get inside. We have little circles, we have our froggy. Let's take out our froggy. Cute little frog. And what are these? What is that? It's like a flower. I think it's a green flower bead. It smells good though. It smells very clean. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what kind of sound it'll make. Let's stretch it. Man, these cubes are phenomenal. I think I found a new favorite. Let's hear if it's gonna make any pops. Yep. Look at that stretch. That stretch is phenomenal. My goodness. But look at this. It is both visually appealing and really nice hand feel to it. I love the hand feel. Is that a thing? Do people say that in the slime community? Oh my goodness, that was a great pop. Let's hear that again. I have a lot to learn, but I am enjoying this. This is beautiful. Probably one of my new favorites. Yes, 
and it's gotten a little cloudy obviously because of you know playing with it but for sure it's going to get back to clear once we let it sit again so we're gonna put you back in here see you later little froggy later nerdy crafter all right in you go oh that sounded good so again, I am a sucker for texture. This is easily going to get a 9.2 from me. I just wish the scent were a little bit more intense. Then again, it's personal preference. This next one is supposed to be a DIY slime kit known as Magic Boba. I absolutely love bubble tea, also known as boba. Mostly my favorite flavors are either watermelon or honeydew. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites. And it does look really pretty. I think I see, again, the same slime texture, at least from what I can tell on the website here. We do see some bigger chunks. Let's put an arrow on that. And it says that this here is a clear slime base. So it looks like I do have a favorite or a type. And apparently it's good for ASMR sounds. And the scent is supposed to be a berry milk tea. It's supposed to be also light scented. Now, the only thing I wished that this little container had over here, because I did order quite a bit of slime, is maybe the same label that's here could be on the little one, because I had to kind of try and refigure it out by going on the website. And we do have some embeds over here. And the embeds seem to be little clay stars. We have glitter, we have some beads as well. And let's pull you out. Oh my goodness. Oh, so we don't get my texture thing. Why is it sticky? Oh, that smells so good. Okay, this smells absolutely phenomenal. It smells like berry popsicle. And it really does remind me of summertime. This is a really good scent. So we're not getting any of those little cubes, I think that I saw on the website, unless that was my eyes tricking me, but I'm pretty sure that was there. Kitty editor, let me know what your opinion is. But look at this deep blue purplish color. So it's a lot more purple in person than it is on camera, but look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful looking slime. Aesthetically, it's really pretty. And then here I'm guessing is either clay, no, that is not clay. Or is it more slime? I can't tell. <laughs> Wait, what? This here smells like milky berry. I, I really don't know how that was done. It does have a milky scent to it. So let's go ahead and pull you out. I'm gonna put you right on top. I think that's what the picture showed us. And I'm guessing the whole DIY purpose is to have fun with it. So we're gonna put some of them sprinkles. Oh my goodness, that's cute. We're gonna put the whole thing because I don't know what I'm doing and putting the whole thing just seems aesthetically pretty. So here's what that looks like all together. It is definitely very aesthetic, very pretty looking. You could take a picture of this and put it on your wall. That's how pretty it is. I wouldn't hesitate. <laughs> ah! Okay, I knew I shouldn't have put the whole thing, but okay, let's go ahead and push these in. Oh my goodness, this is cute. Let's pull this out. And now because it's so clear, it looks like a milkiness on the inside that is just really pretty. I love the fact that we can get two different, it almost looks like an iceberg. It looks like an iceberg underwater. There's this mysticality to it. It smells so good though. I feel like I'm in love here. Oh my goodness. The berry smells so good. I'm in love here. It's a little on the sticky side, so you could probably give it one spray, but Otherwise, my goodness, I'm in love with this. Look at that, the stretch on this. Listen to that. It's giving us great pops. Beautiful. Yeah, this was fun. So we're gonna shove you back in here. But in terms of the DIY-ness and actually being able to close this back, it's in there just a little bit over the top of smidge. So I think maybe a little less on the main one could make it all fit perfectly. This does smell good though. I'm going to go ahead and give this easily an 8.2. Would love to see a little bit more texture in there. Moving on to another one that is fruity scented is this peach milk kit. Now I can't find it on the website anymore. So I'm guessing it's sold out. And we're going to assume that it's supposed to be a peachy milk scent. In here, we have a milk carton cabochon and a peach cabochon along with tiny embeds of peach and circles. And the color here is very much so milk and peach. It's extremely light compared to the other ones. So let's see what we get. Oh, that is glittery. Let's take a whiff. Oh, interestingly, it smells very close to Play-Doh for those of you who've ever played with Play-Doh before with a bit of a peachy undertone to it. Now, I don't hate the scent of Play-Doh, so it'll depend on you. And you can see the glitter over here is super, super pretty. Definitely feels 100% like air dry clay. Let's pull you out. And here's what it looks like. It feels less so like slime and more like 
putty. So here's what the stretch looks like. It looks like the glitter was mostly on top versus the whole thing. Not exactly my favorite. I feel like I'm not favoring the ones that are clay type texture. Let's open up these embeds and put them on top. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Am I overdoing it? For sure. Here's what it looks like, voila. And let's get some texture in here because otherwise it just feels like air dry clay with no other texturally enticing benefit for me. All right, let's hear that. Yeah, we hear the embeds and that's it. Smells good, but otherwise definitely not my favorite. Definitely good quality though. Would I reorder this? Not over the other things that I've played with so far. So for me, this is going to get a baseline of seven. So we're gonna get you back in here. By the way, did you greens know I have my very own craft kit? And this kit is a bear pour acrylic paint kit. As you can see, you get tiny bears that you can turn either into keychains or put them on your bags or backpack while totally customizing them to your preferences. As you can see, Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both had fun with these kits. I will link their videos down below so you can take a full watch. And you can either customize these bears with air dry clay or go straight into the acrylic pour part, which is obviously the fun part. And you can make so many different color combinations and even customize them with detail brushes that also come in the kit. This one really does have everything you need, including six mini bears, eight ready to pour vibrant color paints, silicone trays, spatulas, mixing cups, gloves, stirring sticks, and even a divider cup where you can put up to five different colors so they don't mix and match together. And a custom foldable metal rack that we made specifically for this kit so the bears can hang dry. And even a mat for your desk. A full list of everything inside will be on the website, but you can really customize these bears to however way you like, and it is so fun and it's really hard to stop. And especially now that we have a promotion for you for 10% off that is automatically applied. Did I mention you also get a sticker pack in there with nine to collect plus one holographic? And if you get the golden card, that is the golden ticket. And I will list the prizes that you can get with the golden ticket, including choosing my next vlog. Thank you again eternally for all the support you grades have been giving me and I'm just excited to share this project with you. The next one that I can't find in the shop is this peanut butter and jelly fluff. Again, we're going to go ahead and assume this is going to smell like peanut butter and jelly. I love the scent of peanut butter. I think last time when I mentioned something was supposed to smell like peanut butter and it didn't, y'all were like, thank the gads because I don't like the smell of peanut butter. Then you don't have to get this. They have really awesome things that are there. So you don't have to get peanut butter if you don't like the scent of peanut butter. But I want it. Dutch corn darn it. I want my peanut butter scent. But it should also smell like grape. But I think this might actually be the same thing as the previous one because it looks and feels and it is the heaviness of clay. Let's sniff it. Oh, yes. It smells like peanut butter and grape jelly. This is good. Now I kind of don't want to mix it though, but let's pull it out. It is the texture of air dry clay again, and I don't want to mix it fully, but let's get some swirls going. And here's what it looks like. It's going to be the exact same texture as the, oh wait, there's something in here. What? Excuse me, something's in here. What are you? <laughs> now we're just digging, we're excavating things. Since I can't find the posting anymore. Okay, we have a grape cabochon. So here's a grape cabochon, a biscuit, toast, and little grapes. So it looks like there are tiny embeds, they just kind of got swallowed up and then we have some sprinkles. But again, this is the clay slime, not my favorite. Beautiful smell. So it's going to get a little bit of a higher grade because of the smell. 7.5. This next one was a special release for spring and it's called Flower Shop. I love the embeds in this one and it kind of looks like a sorbet. So I'm thinking this might be kinetic sand type. And the texture is a snow fizz that it's crispy and crunchy. Oh my God. Is it gonna be like the axolotl? And it's supposed to smell like fresh flowers. And here's what it looks like. Let's smell those fresh flower scents. You can see that things have moved around a bit. There we go. So here we have the little flower, we have a flower shop and all the little leaves and flower embeds, very cute. It does look very wet, but it's actually not that wet. It just looks wet. All right, let's hear that. Okay, yes. Yes, this is like the axolotl, oh my God. Let's take a sniff on that. Yeah, it smells like like very nice perfume. You know when someone passes and you're like, wow, this person smells good? I can't pinpoint a specific flower. It just smells really nice. In here you can see the crispiness of the texture and let's hear that crisp. Oh. Yes. Oh my goodness, this crunch. 
beautiful. I think I have a type. Yep. It's, it sounds like a sorbet. This is phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and say this. This is my texture. I think I found my thing. This is going to get a solid 9.4. I think if it had more textures on the inside of the textures, I'd, I'd dig it way more. Way too cute. Maybe I'm getting picky at this point, but I'm loving this. Yep. Oh, and before some of you at me and say the other one I said also smells like perfume, but I didn't quite like that scent, it smelled like a person. That's all I need to say. What's the difference of this one smells like a perfume, just pure perfume, and the other one smells like a perfume with a person. Just putting it out there. <laughs> but with that said, we have one here called Expensive Taste, and it looks like we get caviar. And on the site, this is really cute because it does look like gold and caviar. I love the idea and the concept of this. And it's a golden slime base with shimmering gold leaf that comes with caviar. And it's supposed to smell like bougie perfume. So I'm curious because this one really does supposed to smell like perfume. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here's what it looks like. So it's a little cloudy from this perspective. Let's smell it. This one smells like I'm at a party I don't belong in, where all the rich people are hanging out, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm shoe shining. That's, that's the, the highest status I can have at this party. That smells good, though. And we can see the gold flakes in here. There's embeds of the gold flakes. It doesn't come across as gold quite as much as I thought it would be. It almost looks like pieces of metal but the slime itself is actually pretty golden. Let's go ahead and put the caviar. And I'm going to guess that the caviar is actually just beads of embeds on the inside of another slime. Those look great. Those really look good. So we're gonna pull these out and put them right on top. You know what, let's pull the whole thing out though, because I do want to see it melted right on top. Look at that. This really do be looking like caviar and it's adding texture. That's phenomenal. Yeah, now we're having a little bit more texture to play with. Something's missing. I really would have loved to see maybe gold bar embeds or coin embeds. That would have made this a little bit more premium feeling in terms of expensive taste, but I do like this. I just wish I could see more embeds in there because I am very much so into textures. Otherwise, it does feel like any of the other clear slime bases. So because it's not offering too much for me personally again, I'm going to give this a base of a 7 or 7.2. It does smell pretty good, and that's why it's at the 7.2 mark. And let me know which one of these is something that you would get for yourself. Are you a crunchy, cloudy? What kind of type of slime person are you? This video is not sponsored nor affiliated. If you do want to watch more reviews, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little different and crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.